Well, uh, I was approached by a Canadian fellow named Robert Smead, and uh, he's been consumed with this whole idea of hell. Well, this, this fellow had read some of my articles and, and offered to pay me a little money to study the subject, so that is, is what I'm prepared to do. Well, I think the death of that Hollis boy really changed him. It made him question things maybe he hadn't thought about. Is he in hell? Is Davy in hell? You see, when you have a friend and then suddenly he's gone, you're told he's burning forever in hell? That would change you. That would change anybody. You realize you're attacking the very foundation of Christian religion. Listen, we have all assumed something that isn't true. Folks are partial to the truth that they've already got. What's a kid doing burning forever in hell? Would, would a loving God really do that? I found a missing piece of the puzzle. The gospel is not about building up walls to keep people out. It's about breaking down walls to invite people in. <laughs> you keep telling them that, Mr. Fudge. Make it your own. This Fudge character's out of control, but not for one. I think we need to send a message loud and clear to all the Edward Fudges of the world that we are not about to let his lies and distortions go unchallenged. Mr. Holloway says I have my own gospel, but he is mistaken, and I certainly don't have some corner on truth. Edward Fudge, A Dangerous Voice in Troubled Times by Don Holloway. We feel that now might be a good time for a change. You're firing me? You know, if I had a couple of slices of bread and some mayonnaise, I could make a sandwich with all the bologna here tonight. How dare you? You just wait until all of evangelical Christendom shows up at your doorstep, ready for some, some serious grilling. You don't have to solve every mystery, not by yourself anyway.